Hey, so I'm gonna be doing this video on rabbit care. Not so much as more rabbit care, but how to set up a wire bottom cage because I just cannot find anything on YouTube or Google or anything for that matter on how to set one up because for one, it is a bird's cage and a giant bird's cage. And for two, um, I mean, nobody knows, can tell me what hay goes where and what type of hay should be here and just all that stuff. So I'm going to show you. So let's get started. And do not mind any of this. So yeah, let's get started. So first things first, this is the cage. It's um uh, about a quarter of my wall. It's really big. I don't exactly know the measurements of it but you can tell that's the corner of my wall to that corner over there and that's how big it is it's pretty huge <laughs> so my room's very small um so this is it um i have it on this tray and i'll get down i'll get some more uh detailed about what's on the tray but as for now i have a blanket on it um, it goes all the way to the wall. If you, if you guys could see, but I have a blanket on it because they're they get cold. Um, here in the corner, I'll bed it up. They're eating right now. Here at the corner, I have a their litter pan. Now this one's just a side, uh, so just in case they spray or kick, um, their litter up. It won't go anywhere. And as you could tell, they use it. And then you want some hay because they like to eat. I have Timothy hay and grass hay is what I have for them. Um, I have a, just like a tissue and a bunch of uh, crumbled up paper on the bottom of it. And then here's a little bit of hay because I like to go to the bathroom and eat at the same time. And then, I have their mineral wheel right there. Now, it's hard to put, it comes with salt and mineral wheel, the whole container. But, because the thing already only has, sorry, only has one clip, it's kind of hard to um, put both on. It's not, it's not possible. <laughs> So I called and they said that you just have to um, switch them out, I guess, one in the spring, one in the fall type of thing. But they also said that because if you have a pellet food for them too, which I have right there, then they, um, <laughs> it contains their salt. So I just have the mineral up there. And I have Timothy Hay right here in this corner just because... It's, um, just, they love to eat, constantly eats nonstop. So I have it right there. And then this is a paper towel roll just cut in half. And I just got the ends and I just split them up so then it's like frillies. They could eat them and nibble on it because it's okay, they can. Then I have a chew stick. They're flavored. I have another one right here. <laughs> And then I just caught up a box. I don't know if you guys ever seen the box in one of my other videos, the Sephora. But because it's a small box, I just cut it. And then you could tell my little ones in there. Huh? And you could put hay all over the cage if you want. Now these things right here, because I said it's a wire bottom cage, you guys are probably thinking, hmm, that doesn't look wire bottom to me. Well, these are placemats I got from the Dollar Tree. Um and all I did was put them down because they can get, I think it's called hawks, if they're on a wire bottom too long. And so I have some wired and then some not. And it's really easy to clean. I just have two of them. Then over there, I just have a wheel. It's a grass wheel. And I'll show you. It spins. See? And then they get to it and they eat it and all that fun stuff. That one has grass hay in it. All of over here is Timothy hay. Um, then I have a water bottle right here for the corner. So they could have it. But where they came from, since they're only um, 
since they're only like two days um, old to my house, they have a, they grew up with this water, like dish they had to drink out of, so I just put that there. That's just food they dropped in there. And I just have it on top so they know where the water's going to be at. And then they just have their food. Like I said, it's like a bird's cage. So it just opens up and it's a bird's food thing. And he just eats it. And they're only a month old. Both of them are from the same place. Um, here's another opening. And of course you saw this one. I just have a little ribbon right here so it's easier to grab. And there's another opening right here. And then one more on this side. So that's what I have for them. Um, down here is a lot of fun, fun things. I have a box. I don't really know what to do with it. It's just a really good small box. And I got to figure out what to use it for. But I just have it in here just, just in case, you know. So then I have in this bag is the salt wheel. And then I have these little treats. Really good. You want to have two different kind of treats. Um, one healthy, like it says, healthy uh, bites treats. Let's turn that off so you can see. Oh, no, you can't see. There you go. <laughs> and there's these just little ball treats. And you just kind of put one in. I put two, one for each. And it says for rabbits and guinea pigs and chinchillas. And then they're really healthy so they can have them and munch on them all day. And then I have yummy drops. They're just yogurt, uh, strawberry flavored, and for guinea pigs and rabbits it shows. But they also have hamster ones and all that stuff too. But these ones have always been number one on the market ever since they pretty much came out. So which is pretty cool. Um, they can they should have this like once every other day to, or every time they do something good. You should give it to them or just because you love them, you know. <laughs> so then. Um, I just have scissors here because rabbits, um, what you could do with them is so many different things. If you love to craft, then this is an awesome animal for you. You could build and make things all day long. So I just have scissors here just so I can be crafting. Then this came with a litter pan to train your uh, pet how to use a litter box. It's pretty hard though. Um... It's not as easy as everyone says. Oh, some people, everybody says actually, in one to day, they can be trained to two weeks. So I've only had them for two days. And I mean, I keep trying to have them just go in the bathroom in one spot. But it's so hard because as you can see it, I don't know if you really can. But this little pebble right there, that's their poopy. <laughs> so it's kind of hard. I mean, they go to the bathroom in there, but they still like to go on here. So you can see my rabbits going crazy. <laughs> so then I have the Rainbow Chews uh, fruit flavored um, toys for critters. Now it doesn't have any pictures of rabbits or anything in them. They probably have them, but you could use them. Any chew toys, fine. And then here is all of them that they came with, plus the two I showed you up there. And then. After that, I have down here is their hay. This one's full of Timothy hay, and it's in a grocery bag, as you can see, um, because I have a hay barrel, bale, oh, sorry, outside, and it's really good to have that if you can find one. Um, or they sell a bunch of hay in stores, just it's way much cheaper to buy a bale and just grab it from them because, oh my gosh so much cheaper by far it's only 20 bucks a bale and that thing will last you two months of food and timothy hay you want to constantly change out all the time um you want to always add new hay at least twice a day and every other day you want to totally get the ones that's already been sitting there for a while and dump them and put new one so that's really good now in there's grass hay i have a bag outside and i just put some in here because grass hay is okay but it's in their ball right there but they I mean if they want it they'll eat it um, I could put some out on the floor a little bit when they're doing good you know um, not all the time it gets them fat kind of fast but um, 
alfalfa is very fattening for them. You could put that in like, um, see if I could show you an example if you guys really choose to care to listen, but, <laughs> um, if you get paper towel roll and instead of clipping the sides, you just stuff one end and I'll show you, I'll make a video on it. You just stuff one end and it should stay closed and then you add some treats and good hay like um, alfalfa or anything that's um, kind of fattening like a treat hay for them. And then you just um, close up the other side, mainly for treats and stuff, maybe a little pieces of hay. You close up the other side, you poke some holes so they could smell it and then they have to, they have a little challenge and a toy all in one so they can get to their treats and or you could just get this and add some hay in it and it will be sticking out on both ends and then they have to get it um they they could roll this around and get it at the same time it's um this is a good cheaper way to do that instead of having that ball right there but i think the ball is pretty fun too I don't know exactly if they'll like it. It's only been a couple of days. They haven't really seen it yet. Maybe when they get bigger, they'll be able to push it. Because right now, it's kind of too heavy for them. So then I just have paper towels here for easy cleanup. I'm going to put my vinegar down here. Or back in the kitchen. I'm not too sure. Vinegar is the best thing to clean the cage with. And I just cleaned it this morning. Um, then I just have newspaper here um, to you guys. So you can... Put it on the bottom. Now for this one, it's pretty cool because there's a tray. This is a tray and it comes out. And if you guys could see, see if I can show you without my rabbit freaking out. But if you guys look, underneath is just plain old wire. And then there's, if anything goes to the bottom, it falls. And then you reach the newspaper as you could see right there. Then it's just easy cleanup. So that's what you do. Um, I'll just leave it open for now. So, that's pretty much it um, on how to set it up. I think I went over all the essentials. Um, eventually, oh, you don't want to put it in direct sunlight because it's not that good for them. But eventually, I'm going, because this is their veggie bowl right here. Um, I'm eventually moving it away, which I gotta clean it out right now. But I'm eventually gonna move it away, and they'll learn that the water's in that corner. They just don't know how to use this. As you can see, it's still full to the top of water. So, that's that. Um, this little guy, or girl, sorry. So sorry. Right here, my hands are probably cold, is Bolt. And I'll show you why in a second. I can get her out. Well, this one's Waffles. She's already out and about. She loves everybody. This one. Come here. Is Bolt. Because. She has a stripe on her back. Like if you ever see the cartoon. So. I just named her Bolt. She's super soft and cute. And they're both a month old. And they're sisters, I call them. So they could be together. And she's probably going to hop back to her spot. But they constantly eat. Just remember that. So you always want to have something for them. I'm going to give them a treat right now. And, yeah. Hope this helps. If you guys... Sorry, excuse me. If you guys need any um, more detailed or want to know about certain thing like um, this or the chew toys or the hay or the water or the food or any little thing... You can think of the tray even. Um, I can make a video about it and just let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Alright, bye guys.